the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by the hand of Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? saith the Lord. Yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and rebuild the desolate places, thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is the fear of me? Saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests, who despise my name. And ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offer polluted bread upon mine altar, and ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer blind animals for sacrifice, is that not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is that not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee or accept thy person? saith the Lord of hosts. And now, I pray you, beseech God that he will be gracious unto us. This has been by your hand, will he regard your persons? saith the Lord of hosts. Who is there even among you who would shut the doors for naught? Neither do ye kindle fire on mine altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord of hosts, neither will I accept an offering from your hand. For from the rising of the sun even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering, for my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye have profaned it in that ye say, The table of the Lord is polluted, and the fruit thereof, even his meat, is contemptible. Ye said also, Behold, what a weariness is it! And ye have sniffed it, saith the Lord of hosts. And ye brought that which was torn and the lame and the sick, thus ye brought an offering. Should I accept this from your hand? saith the Lord. But cursed be the deceiver who hath in his flock a male, and thou it and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen.